Hey there guys, just wanted to uh, go over a quick problem that you may run into in finance. Uh, it's actually a fairly common problem and that's uh, how do you solve for G in the Gordon Growth Model? So uh, if you're like me and haven't had algebra in a while, um, you may be a little rusty on it. It's not, a, it's not a hard concept or a hard problem to do, but just wanted to quickly go over it because I looked on YouTube and I didn't see any videos uh, that covered it. So real quick, this is a problem out of the CFA Level 2 book in 2014 and uh, we'll just go over the problem real quick so it says the value of the stock is forty dollars and uh, you're using the discounted dividend model so the dividend in year zero was two dollars you're gonna grow that by one uh, you're gonna multiply that by uh, one plus G and your required rate of return on equity is 12.2 and you subtract G so that's the Gordon growth model there on the right hand side and you're saying the value is 40 so what's the implied growth rate so very quickly how you solve for that is like this. The first thing is get this equation out of the numerator on the right hand side. So all you do, that's essentially saying 1 over 12.2 uh, minus g, so just multiply it, the, this whole side, by 12.2 minus g, okay, and then that gets rid of this down here and gets rid of this up here. And then you have to do the same thing on this other side here, so then you're going to multiply 40 by 1.22 minus g, okay? So if you divide that through on 40, um, you're going to get 4.88, uh, that's the 1.22 times 40, and then you're just going to get a negative 40g, okay? So that's equal to, and we have the top of this equation left over, so we have 2 uh, times 1 plus g. So next thing to do is multiply that 2 through there, so it would just be 2 plus 2g, 2 times g, and then that is equal to what we had over here. Just drop that down, so 4.88 minus 40g. Okay. So next thing we have to do is get the g's on one side um, and the, the regular numbers on the other. So what we're going to do to this is we're just going to subtract 2g here, so subtract 2g here, okay, and then subtract 4.88 here, and subtract 4.88 here. Okay, so if we do that, 2 minus negative 4.88 gives you negative 2.88 on this side. Those obviously cancel out. And that equals, um, over here, these obviously cancel out, and so now we have negative 40 uh, minus 2, so that gives you negative 42g. Okay, so negative 42g equals negative 2.88, and then all we have to do is get g by itself, so minus 42 here, and divide minus 42 here. Okay, so we do that, that isolates g, and you will find that g is equal to 6.86%. And that's all you have to do. So if you run across that problem, hopefully that's helpful to you. And good luck. Thanks.